Hello again, fellow cheese tarnished. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about what to think about when you're fighting a boss. For those of you that are new to the Elden Ring series or FromSoft series, there are a lot of tips that I think can make uh, boss battles a lot more manageable for you. So I wanted to give you a few here. Uh, first of all, I am fighting right now uh, Godric the Grafted. I think he's a pretty um, good boss just for us to work with it. For examples here, he's got a few projectile moves. He's got a few what I like to call <gasps> off moves. We'll have lots of things to talk about with this boss. Now, I will say not every boss is the same. Um, Lord Rykard uh, and Fire Giant are both examples of bosses that have specific things that you should do if you want to have a chance of beating them. Elden Ring bosses, the music, they're all meant to hype you up, but definitely try to keep you, yourself level-headed. If you find yourself getting like... Uh, you know, the adrenaline pumping, the greed coming, or, or the fear boiling under you that you're about to get hit, then you probably are going to get hit because that's when you start watching your character more. You're not looking at the boss. You're not paying attention. You're not seeing what's happening. And uh, that's that leads to mistakes generally. As you're watching this, the health bar should be jumping around a bunch. That's because I'm cutting up a lot of these fights to condense the information down to you so you don't have to watch me fight this guy, uh, you know, five times. But I should have one run where I finish him, and whatever run uh, we we beat him on, I'll put it all together for you, so you can kind of see all the different aspects of the boss fight come together. Make sure that you're paying attention to the move set, right? You want to learn the move set of the boss. So I see, okay, so this one's a swing and a jump, and what you're looking for is is the move punishable? Is the move dodgeable? How many hits does the combo do? Now I saw this one was punishable last time, so I'm gonna roll in and get a hit. When you roll, your character gets invincibility frames, iframes. Now, for some attacks, it's better to roll away so you don't get hit at all. But for a lot of attacks, if you want to dodge them, you dodge into them. Because that way, your character is moving through the hitbox and out of the hitbox while your iframes are up, if that makes sense. The projectile is really hard to dodge there if you dodge away from it. But if you dodge through it, then the projectile passes through you faster while your iframes are up. Spacing is another big concept, right? You'll notice I'm staying just outside of his like attack range, so that if he does some weird quick attack, then I won't get hit by it. And you notice there I did not dodge through the projectile and I got hit by it. I tried to dodge away from it. It can be beneficial to dodge through an enemy as well because then there's a higher chance that you're behind them and safe for a follow-up attack, right? So this attack is what I like to call a f off attack. And basically what that means is those first two strikes there, if I were to stand right next to him and try to dodge both, there is no iframe window that would allow me to miss both the attacks. In fighting games, that's referred to as a frame trap. I'm trying to talk about things. I've already used all my flasks. But hopefully I'm giving you guys some good pointers as we're going through this. It's very common for Dark Souls bosses to delay their attacks. And what they're doing there is just banking on the fact that you're gonna get scared of the attack coming and you're gonna dodge early. So what you wanna do is he's holding, he's holding, and you're watching him. You're not watching yourself, you're watching the boss, right? He's holding, he's holding, and then when it's about to come down, you want to wait until it's, you know, right about to hit you. This is really common. This is a really common thing in bosses. When they switch to a phase two, right, they'll do one of their off attacks. So right now, I'm just going to hightail it. I do know we can jump over that. Jumping does have iframes in this game, so definitely, you know, pay attention to what attacks you can, uh, you can avoid by jumping. Some attacks like that, if you're behind them, while they're putting out the hitbox, you can get in big damage. Anytime you have the option to, make sure you jump before your attack. It deals more damage and will inflict more stagger. Mizaki doesn't want you to know this, but Dark Souls is actually a rhythm game. I find it can be very helpful, especially to dodge like tricky projectiles or attacks that you're having trouble dodging, to count. Many bosses 
when they're switching phases, have an opportunity where you can get in free damage, you definitely want to take those if possible. Another thing to know about the AI, it can actually be baited. One of the ways the AI predicts whether or not you're healing is your movement. And you can use your movement to trick bosses. Uh, many bosses have these advancing moves, right? That are meant to catch you when you're, when you're slipping. And what you can do to bait these attacks and punish them is actually just walk backwards and stand still. So watch, I'm gonna stand here, still. He thinks I'm healing, look at that. And he uses his advancing move, which is punishable. Because the lunges are usually punishable there. They're banking on the fact that you could heal, that they can catch you healing. One, two. I'm gonna hit by some trash damage, no big deal. I don't need to heal yet. Now I need to heal. So I'm gonna dodge and heal instead of punch. Two. There we're going in. This is our F off move. We run. One, two. In. That's punishable, so we'll punish it. This is F off move again. He likes to do this when we're close. You'll notice bosses have tendencies too. A lot of them have tendencies to use similar moves when you're up close. A lot of the time they like to use their F off moves when you're up close. They'll punish you for trying to get in damage. Dodge too early there. I'm still going to go in for some damage because I'm not too worried about it at the moment. We still have half our health. He does not have a lot of moves that uh, kill us at that amount. As much as possible when you're fighting bosses, you, you want to use your flasks efficiently. If you just take one hit and you can still survive most of his attacks, there's not really any point of burning your flask early. Because you want it to deal to do as much healing as possible to make your health bar kind of as big as possible as you can over the fight. So I'm going to stop here, try to fool the AI into thinking that I'm healing. Perfect. It worked. We get some free damage. Now I accidentally pressed R1 twice there. That was kind of a bad mistake. And I'm not really prepared to punish this, so I'm just going to run away. And we'll see if we can bait his magma shot again. We didn't get the magma shot, but we got another dash attack that's easily punishable. Should have dodged out there. Oh, I didn't. That's fine. That attack's still punishable. So is this. That's some great damage there. And now we're going to jump. And I'm going to go ahead and save the heal because he does have a few attacks that can almost one hit me here. Oh no. I just barely missed that. And I'm greeting. Alright, we're good. We got out. We did some trash damage. Every little bit helps. Alright. Not ready to punish this attack. Uh, it wasn't close enough. Now this one we can. I'll get up in there. Get a swing. And he's going to do this. No surprises there. That's exactly what, he, what we expect. He usually uses that move when we're close to him. And we've seen that. This one's free damage. Here we go. Here's some more free damage for us. Usually he likes to use that when we're close to. 
that version of the move we can punish pretty easily. Just gonna back up, assess the fight, see if I can bait another one of his stupid moves. Perfect, we got one. More damage. Alright, we're gonna jump. And attack. And he's close to dead. But if we stayed there and greeted, I probably would have gotten comboed by that. And now we can find our final punish, because we are patient. And that's how you kill bosses in Elden Ring. I hope that was helpful for you guys in uh, figuring out what to do. If you want to watch me put all this stuff together into boss fights, you can come check me out on twitch.tv slash I literally say all these things out loud when I'm fighting the bosses just because of habit now at this point. Until next time, y'all stay cheesy out there.